welcome back guys so this is uh, question 27 and this is part b of 8 in which uh, we have seen that there are basically two methods to convert any signed ones complement form to the decimal one okay so previously we have talked about the part a of it so now let us start part b of it so for it let me first remove it okay as i have told you that whatever method you found convenient you can do it so let me use method number two for solving the part b of uh, my question so here again in order to solve it by using the method number two so what i will get there will be two zero two one two 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 three two four two five two six and minus 2 7 okay now writing the bits here what i will get i will get here 0 1 1 1 okay 0 1 and double 0 okay now converting it and multiplying each bit with the corresponding value here what i will get here here 0 0 here what i will get here it will be 4 okay plus here this will be 8 is multiplied by 0 this is 16 okay plus 32 and this is 64 okay so uh, converting them to the uh, decimal equivalent what i will get 64 plus 32 is 96 96 plus uh, 4 is 100 and this is 116 so this is 116 this bit is already nullified by multiplying this term with the zero and we have got this 116 which is already a positive number so therefore the answer will remain same which is 116 okay similarly in order to solve it by using the method number one and this was a method number two so in order to solve this question by using the method number one we can see that here the number is zero triple one okay zero one double zero and here we can see that this bit is already zero so therefore we will see that we can conclude from it that the answer of it will be positive so therefore we are not going to take the ones complement of it and the number here will remain the same here so therefore converting this one okay when i will convert it to the decimal one what will happen it will be the same procedure which we have followed here so therefore the answer of it will also remain 116 in the decimal form okay so we have seen that the answer from both methods will remain same here okay uh, similarly talking about the last part of our question so let me talk about the last part of our question so the last part of our question is this one okay and let us solve it by using the method number two again so method two following the method to here so the question here is one zero and all the ones here so therefore what i am going to do here i am going to follow the method number one so here by following the method number one what will happen it will be a lengthier method why because all the bits here are basically one here okay so you have to use your own common sense that which method you should have to follow so therefore uh, when i will follow method number two this will be a lengthier one and you have to make many calculations because you can see that this is two zero two one two 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 three two four two five two six and minus two seven okay so writing bits here what i will get one zero and all others will be one okay so it will be a quite lengthier method because uh, each bit and each number here will be added together but not this one all the others will be added together and this will be a lengthier process despite it the method number two using the method number two here what we have to do here we have the number which is one zero one 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 and one one okay so one two three four five six seven eight so here we can see that this bit is one so therefore the answer will be a negative number therefore what we have to do i'm going to revert all the bits here so here the 
once complement of it will be 0 1 and all the other terms will be 0 so 0, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and this one is 8 so all the bits are inverted so now converting it to the decimal form what i will get 2 0 2 1 2 3 2 4 2 5 2 6 and 2 7 okay writing these bits here what i will get 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 okay so i will get here only this term will be multiplied with it and i will get 2 raised power 6 which is 64 okay so as i have previously told you that the answer here will be negative so therefore the answer here is minus 64 so from this method we have calculated all the terms very easily unless and until we had to find all the terms here what we had to do we have to add this one with this one with this one okay all the terms here will be added together and what we will get here 3 plus 4 is 7 7 plus 8 is 15 okay 15 plus 16 plus 32 and here it will be how much that would be minus 128 okay so 32 plus 16 this is how much 48 so 48 plus 15 is how much this will be uh, 63 so minus 128 plus 63 okay sorry this is 63 so how much would i get i will get here minus 65 okay so as this is a negative number i have to add one with it so here i will get minus 64 so you have seen that this one method number one here let me use the red color here so method number two here is lengthier than the method number two okay so you have to uh, look at your own convenience and uh, follow the method which you find feasible for you to use in any condition okay so that is the end of uh, our question number 27 in which we have gone through different scenarios that uh, whichever method we will use and will be better one sorry this is the method number one and this is the method number two okay so that's it for today and i will see you with some more interesting questions in our upcoming video see you soon